What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescaserace.com. 2022 Panini Donner Elite Football. Four box break. Two random teams each. Number one. And again, guys, 16 total spots. Everybody gets two random teams in the NFL. All card ship. Number two autos. One really three rookies. Six parallels. 11 inserts. And again, this is a four box break from a fresh case. So we'll have three breaks of this. If Nick has not posted it already, uh, I'm sure uh, we'll repost that up right now. But uh, should be fun, guys. All right, so here are the dice rollers. Here's the customer name. So we doubled them up already. You get two random teams. There's the Cardinals down to the Commanders. Roll it. And it is a five, four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times, five, four, nine. Chris down to Brock. Nine times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times, nine times, Broncos down to the 49ers. All right, so Chris Montalvo, you have the Broncos, Han with the Seahawks, Rams, Eddie with the Giants, Brian with the Jets, Chris with the Chiefs, Karen with the Dolphins, Ryan with the Ravens, Han with the uh, Cowboys, Brock with the Cardinals, Ryan with the Titans, Eddie with the Colts, Ryan with the Commanders, Chris with the Lions, Nestor with the Browns, David with the Saints and Panthers, Robert with the Jaguars, Han with the Bucks, Brian with the Texans, Karen with the Chargers, Chris with the Bears, Ryan with the Raiders, Han with the Patriots, Nestor with the Steelers, Packers, Han with the Vikings, Robert with the Eagles, Bills. Ness with the Bengals, uh, Robert with the Falcons, and Brock with the 49ers. So, again, guys, this is the brand new rookie class. So, a lot of good defensive players, a lot of good receivers, and a couple quarterbacks in here, of course, as well. Uh, but if anybody wants to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick little trade window. Cold for Cincy that he's saying. Let me know, guys. If not, I'm going to close it. Alrighty, I guess you might have to just keep your teams. I am not Victor. Should I be watching that game? I have Tennessee and Pittsburgh up right now. What channel is that on? Victor.
Really? What channel is that A and M game on? Is that like on uh, on Fox uh, Sports One? No, that's Houston, Texas. Texas Tech. ESPN two. Okay, so right now it's just college football scoreboard, but I guess that's already passed over the time. Appalachian State? Woo! Well, there's still six minutes left. That's still a lot of time, Victor. But uh, Appalachian State, man, they, they had a great week one last week. that game. Alright, well this is a four box break. So there's four boxes there, four boxes in the middle, four boxes to the right. Let's uh, choose which four we're going to use here, guys. So it's one, two for the left, and three, four for the middle, five, six for the right. And it's a four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do the middle. That is, that is so unacceptable, Jimmy. Imagine you're over here just getting a text to evacuate, you know, in your area, and you're just like, holy shit, I gotta get my stuff, or whatever. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, a whoopsies? Oh yeah, someone's definitely getting fired. The hell? All right, pay Manning to uh, 349. Man, I can't. That is crazy. Alright, we got a Alante Taylor to 75. Pen pals, John Dotson. Nice one there for Washington. And, uh. Let's see. Washington Commanders is Ryan. There's everybody else right there. Najee Playmakers. Brian Robinson Jr.
Yeah. Well, yeah, thankfully, obviously, you know, for you, yeah, you knew, but I, I'm sure some people that didn't even know or just clueless thought it was actually there, you know? But that's crazy, man. Pickens. We had the worst fake warning ever in Hawaii years ago. Well, what happened, Kev? It's like a tsunami warning or something. Someone had just clicked the. Oh, was that? You know what? Didn't that happen? Actually, didn't somebody like hit the button by accident, and everybody thought there was like a tsunami happening? Is that the one I'm thinking about? Incoming missile. Holy shit! No, I don't remember that one. Eighty-three. That actually is probably the worst fake warning ever. What? What happened, Kev? Someone just wanted to hit the big red button. <laughs> Someone was just like, has anybody seen Undercover Brother? You guys remember uh, uh, Dave Chappelle in it? When he's all like, Atomic Call Ray. <laughs> Let's see what this so-called button does. <laughs> Desmond Ritter, Jameson Williams, man, that is crazy, Kev. So did they announce the dude got fired or woman got fired, or what did they do to make it up? Like Bailey, Zappy, to one ninety nine, turn of the century for the Patriots going to Han. We got a uh, Sam Williams to ninety nine. Oh, it was a training exercise alert, but it was sent out to the public by accident. Ridiculous, dude. Trey Lance. Ebner. Brady. Did they miss that? Or did they block it? Did they block that? Uh, Victor told me to watch this Appalachian State Texas NA game. And uh, Appalachian State's up by three with 343 left. And it looks like either they missed it or they blocked it. I didn't see what it was. Oh, they blocked that. It looks like they blocked it, but then again, actually, the people that jumped higher were on the left side, but the ball went to the right. Oh, sh that was a Ray Finkel. Well, just get a couple first downs, kill some clock. It's crazy. It wasn't Notre Dame losing right now, too, and I think Notre Dame paid a... Uh, Paid the school to come to play in uh, Ann Arbor like a million dollars. Hold on. Yeah. Notre Dame lost today. Paid Marshall 1.5 milli to go play in Ann Arbor. And uh, they lose. Crazy, dude. I feel that's like the most embarrassing is like when you pay these smaller schools to come play against you guys, you know, because they already know they're probably going to lose and they get paid a million dollars, the school does, and then the school comes in and beats you. <laughs> it's 
sad. Like, you know, them losing Ohio State, yeah, that's fine. But them losing to Marshall, that is not good. Oh yeah, can you imagine? Dude, yeah, where are you where are you gonna run if you, if you, even if you had a little bit of time? You're not going anywhere. At least with a tsunami, you could potentially get to like a higher part or as far away as possible. But yeah, I mean, well, yeah, what are you gonna do, right? There's nothing really you can do. Ahmad Gardner, a little sauce, pen pals. For the Jets, 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 Brian Hayes. Chris Olave. Devin Lloyd. Sam Howell, on number to three ninety nine. Ronnie Lott. And then turn of the century to 49, that's Danny Gray. <coughs> Anthony Booth, or Andrew Booth Jr. for the Vikings. D. Lamb. Fields. I'll take a... I'll take a... Uh, I'll take a sauce. I mean... Obviously, to get to Revis Island, it's going to take some time, right? I mean, it's not going to happen right away, but... David Ojabo. But Sauce has the potential. Reese Hall. Chris Olave. High Life. Strong Jr. John and Taylor. I didn't, I didn't get to see Deion Sanders play. He was kind of a little bit before my time. And even if he was playing in the 90s, I, I hardly seen him because I was just a little kid. But was Deion Sanders really a good cornerback? Like, I always see the highlights of him getting the picks, you know, doing punt returns, you know, playing receiver at some point. But, I mean, did, did he have great coverage? Like, is he considered, like, the best? Like who's 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 considered like the best corner of all time? Like I don't I don't like was he a shutdown corner is what I'm trying to say. You know, because like I said I see the highlights. It's a lot of ints. Like I said he has he has speed on his side. You know, but was he like a a full shutdown type of corner? Shut down, no, not by launch, okay. I mean, like I said, I'm not saying Deion Sanders is not great. I mean, he is a Hall of Famer. I mean, like I said, I see the highlights. He was a great corner, but I'm just saying, like, I don't think he was, like, the shut down, right? Like, one cornerback that I liked seeing when I grew up watching the Eagles uh, play was, like, you know, obviously for Eagles fans, like, Sheldon Brown was pretty good. Obviously, that big hit against Reggie Bush, but... I loved him when the Eagles got Asante Samuels. I feel like he was just more of a ball hawk. But, you know, I always liked Asante Samuels. Obviously not his son is playing. 
And then, yeah, like, you know, Jalen Ramsey, same thing. He's just very <laughs> physical, though. But I don't know, man. There's, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's kind of, I feel like with Revis, he had such a great run, right? Like, shutting down receivers, right? Anytime they played against him. Where I feel like now, receivers do do that already. Sorry, cornerbacks do shut down certain players, but, I mean, they can't do it for long. I just feel like receivers have gotten more and more talented, right? I mean, Jalen Ramsey was getting cooked. By by uh, Stephon Diggs, but can you blame him? You know, like Stephon Diggs. But at the same time, like I feel like with Revis, when he was playing, he was just shutting down everybody. But I guess you can only do it for so long, is what I'm saying, right? Charles Woodson was better, you know. Yeah, that that's one. Obviously, I don't I don't really remember too much either. But yes, I mean, I know he was pretty big too. Yeah, especially now with all the back shoulder passes. Like, if you time routes with receivers and quarterbacks, I mean, it's kind of impossible to cover in a sense. But that's also why you study film. Oh, he's gone. That's why you study film. Wow, Appalachian State is going to upset number six, Texas A&M. Now we got someone... Pre-Eagles was great. <laughs> when he signed that big contract with the Eagles, that was over. He just looked he just looked so he just looked so expelled out there. He had no idea what he was doing. Maybe it was just the style of defense or what, but pre-Eagles, Namdi Osmo was great. Josh Jacobs. It's like for the Eagles, right? I mean, I, I think Darius Slay is a great cornerback. I'm not saying he's the best in the league, but he's a little bit on the older side now. But he had some great seasons with Detroit. And then obviously his first year with the Eagles didn't go so well. I think a, a, custom, a custom, you know, getting used to, you know, that Eagles defense with a new coordinator and all that. But obviously in his second year, uh, you know, with obviously new coach and everything like that too, uh, with Gannon, I mean, he did great. I mean, he's striving, you know, Darius Slade did great this past year, but same time, you know, obviously he's a little bit on the older side. He's like 31, 32 now. TJ Watt. Also, sorry, this Christian Watson was in there too. That'd be awesome, Victor. I would love to go to the Super Bowl, but I don't know. I, I got to take it a week at a time. Look, man, Eagles in 2017 were not picked to go to the Super Bowl. I didn't even think they'd go to the Super Bowl that year, and it happened. So I think it's going to be one of those kind of years if that's the case, like whenever the Eagles do go back to the Super Bowl. Isaiah Spiller. Well, see, like, this is my thing, right? I have a big Cowboys fan. My, my friend's a big Cowboys fan. We always just battle it out. I personally think I personally think Diggs is a little overrated. Is he a great ball hawk when it comes to instincts? He like you know eyes down the quarterback. Yes, but I, I don't think I don't I don't think uh, Diggs uh, the cornerback for the Cowboys is all that great. He let he let like over I think he let up like over a thousand yards last year. Did he have like so many interceptions early on? Hell yeah! Don't get me wrong, but is that what it's really all about for a cornerback? I mean, I don't know. Jalen Hurts. I see them doing better than that, Deep Porter, but hopefully.
Kenneth Walker. Josh Allen. Nice. Desmond Ritter to 99 for the Falcons. Rob wrote that one. Gabriel Davis. Chase. Young. Abner. All right, guys, last box. Uh, Chan Bailey, we haven't talked about him yet. Yeah, Chan Bailey was great too. Uh, Michael, I'm not. I don't remember. How you doing, buddy? Whiz kids and A list are cases. Yeah, I feel like I haven't really seen too many of those. They did it, guys. They did it. Zamir White. George Pickens. Pen Pals. Nice one there for the Steelers. Nestor. We have a defensive end there for the Jets, rookie, uh, Jermaine Johnson. Lewis. And Davis Mills. Back to the future. Number two, one forty-nine. I know. We got the we got the Steeler cases over here, man. Bill Zappy. Taylor. Alright, and we got a AFC titles, Joe Burrow.
Brisker. There we go. We got a Garrett Wilson there to 83. We have a uh, to 99 and more Steelers. Don't look, Oliver. Don't look. Craftsman. Claypool. Garrett Wilson. What is it? Because of football season, dude, Porter. I'd love to have Friday and Saturday back off. <laughs> I, I think Joe actually enjoys his Friday Saturday off. He he had that kind of schedule for a long time. Now he can actually do more on a Friday Saturday. Um, but yes, during football season, I guess it's kind of a plus, you know, having Sunday Sunday off and Monday. But I honestly wouldn't mind Friday Saturday back off again. <laughs> No, I, I think we just made the switch. I don't. I, I think we just made the switch. I think Nick just wanted to switch things up. Um, and wanted me to come in a little earlier on a Friday, Saturday, and then, you know, if if, if it's if it's busy, stay late. If not, then you know you can leave. But no, I think I think it was just like a Nick decision. I don't think it was anything else. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That was a four box break. Um, there you go. A lot of stuff to be penny sleeve and top loaded. And uh, again, this was number one. Number two and three are from the next break. Our next, our same ones from the same case. Sorry, next four boxes. And uh, I'm sure Nick already re-uploaded, so we can do it again, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.